That was a clothes peg donkey, and you can make one using a few odds and ends from around the home. The first thing you'll need, of course, is a clothes peg, preferably a wooden one. You can use a plastic one, but a wooden one is better because you'll be attaching things to it with drawing pins, and it's easier to push those into wood than into plastic. Talking about drawing pins, you'll need two of them, and you'll also need a paper clip and a matchstick. And you'll need two pieces of cardboard, about five centimetres square, fairly stiff, and white and some colored pens and that matchstick you can cut that into thirds because you only need one little piece of it and that's all you need you will need a pair of scissors as a tool here's what you do first of all you take your black pen and mark some grass across the base of one of the pieces of cardboard there we are and then you draw the body of a donkey above the grass don't worry about the head, don't worry about the, t the tail, just body. So there's the back leg coming up there. There's the rear end, here's the back of the donkey. There's the neck end, there's the front leg. You come up here. There we are. And I think you'll agree with me, it does look a little bit like the body of a donkey. You can then colour it in. Use any colour you like. You'll notice that I used, not surprisingly, a green pen for the grass and a yellow pen for the body of the donkey. There we are. Well, I've already done that with my donkey over here. Coloured it in completely, and you'll notice that I've cut away a little piece there. That's important because the working mechanism needs the paper clip to go down on that side of the donkey. So then you cut around the body of the donkey and you remove that little piece from between the legs, and you're ready to start assembling that. Now, to do that, you bend that over, and then you're going to attach it to the clothes peg. Now here, this one's already cut out neatly. Bend that over, take one of the drawing pins and push it through the base. There we are. And attach it to the clothes peg in this position so that the donkey points forward. Now nothing is happening yet, but you can see that the lower part of the jaws of the clothes peg can now open and they're clear of the base of the grass. The next thing to do, of course, is to draw the head of a donkey. And that's relatively easy. You simply draw a couple of long ears like that and a long droopy face. The neck goes down there. Make the neck much longer than it would normally be and round it off like so. Then an eye, mouth, nose. There we are. Once again, cut that out and colour it. You guessed it, I've already done it. There we are. You'll notice I've made a couple of little holes there with the point of the scissors. Those are important. That little piece of matchstick that we talked about is actually going to work as a kind of a hinge or pivot. And that goes through the neck part of the donkey here, push it through, and onto the back of that, you attach the real neck of the donkey. There we are. You can now see that it's starting to look like a donkey, but it's not moving can't move yet until you place onto it the paper clip. Now before you do that, straighten out the paper clip like so. That end there will attach to the neck and this end will attach to the peg. But you'll need to try bending it backwards and forwards until you get it just the right length. Here's one where I've measured the length and I know that that will take me from the neck of the donkey down to the bottom part of the peg. Here's what I do. Turn the donkey around backwards push that end of the paper clip through the second hole in the neck, that one there, and then lead it down, pull it around there, and lead it down alongside the peg to the bottom part. Now we get the head of the donkey in the down position, almost as if it's eating grass, and then take the second drawing pin and place that through the little loop that I've made and into the side of the lower part of the peg. There it is there. Believe it or not, our donkey is almost complete. Oh, one thing's missing, isn't it? Can you see what that is? No tail on the donkey. But we can remedy that situation very quickly. Now our friend the donkey has a red tail. Watch what happens to his head as I move the two halves of the peg together. Here we go. 
right? The head moves up and down. And it does that, of course, because the lower part of the peg is pulling down via the paper clip on the back part of the neck, and the whole thing acts as a little seesaw. Well, you'll have fun making a donkey of that type, and also you can, if you like, make a little piece of cardboard like this and hide your hand behind it so that your friends can't see exactly what's happening uh, to make the donkey's head move. But I'll tell you what else I want you to do. See if you can design a donkey that has not only a moving head, but also a moving tail. I want to know.